The importance of uh, penance and, and reconciliation in your eyes as we're preparing to enter the great season of Lent. Well, all that comes together. I think the, the bishops in their discussion last time were coming out of the Synod on the New Evangelization. Mm -hmm. And what they said was, well, you won't hear the gospel, which is a message of reconciliation and forgiveness, first of all, unless you experience the forgiveness. And how does God forgive us? First of all, in the sacrament of penance, where we're offered the reconciliation, and also in the Eucharist, where venial sin is forgiven in the perfect love of Christ who comes to us in the Eucharist. So we have these two ways of having our sins forgiven, one in the sacrament of penance explicitly, the other in the context of the Holy Eucharist being celebrated. You can't receive the source of love without love driving out sin from your life. So we wanted to bring together uh, the message of forgiveness with its sacramental expression and reconciliation, and especially in Chicago, with the year of Sunday Mass. So it all comes together. You can't evangelize unless you have the joy of having been forgiven. You can't tell people who Christ is as a Savior unless you know that your sins have been forgiven. And so out of that mission of the Church comes the means that Jesus has given us to have our sins forgiven in the sacrament of penance, and then that leads into the celebration of the Eucharist, where out of the experience of Christ's love, then in joy we go and tell others about Christ, and that's evangelizing. So it kind of is a circle. The new evangelization demands that we go into it with a sense of forgiveness. Forgiveness is offered in the sacrament of reconciliation and comes to fruition in the love of the Holy Eucharist, and from there we go out and say, well, you know, why don't you come? and experience this love yourself. It's the Christian life. Yeah, sure, right. sure. Exactly. Living the Christian life. So hopefully, again, there, the bishops are, are hoping that in Lent, uh, which is always a time of penance, uh, the use of the sacrament of reconciliation will, will increase. And we've done this also in Chicago, a uh, uh, Lenten period, there are new mm -hmm. opportunities. And it's an opportunity for personal conversion. It's not, uh, it's, it's personal within the community of faith that is the church, but it's why the church asks that you confess your sins personally. Yeah. I remember even the last time we were taping our show uh, off off camera, we had a conversation about that initiative and talked about how the, the rite of penance uh, throughout talks about how the sacrament is to help the penitent live a new life, sure. begin a new sure. life, the sure. conversion sure. that yeah. you were just yeah. speaking about. And part of that new life is the Eucharist. Mm -hmm. If you're living a new life, you should want to receive the Eucharist. The great tragedy is, you know, that, that people who sometimes know Jesus and love him haven't had the opportunity to receive him in the Eucharist, and that's a great tragedy.